everybody? Welcome back to an all new exciting episode of Conflicts. Today we have a brand new robotic kit by Robotis, a company we've seen before that originally made the Bioloid Premium that we've reviewed quite some time. Now, this being their latest design, features an all new Dynamixel 2XL actuators. Now, these particular servos or actuators are quite interesting just because the company itself prides itself on making such great servos that actually handle itself quite well. But these here have a bit of a twist, mainly because they have two point of accesses. Meaning, if you look at the original one over here, when you roll ahead and rotate the arm, you'll see that there's only one pivot. But this particular servo has two pivots, so the arm will actually go ahead and flex in two different ways versus just one direction as well. So it should be kind of interesting to see exactly how it plays out, mainly because it only comes with six of those, and you can go ahead and build a fully functional humanoid robot. Now, this particular kit contains three different robots that you can build from a humanoid robot to a cute little robot with a screen built into it, as well as a cool looking hexapod or like spider kind of crawling robot as well. So in this episode here, we'll be unboxing this, trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. Now, if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Priced at about $999, it is a good amount of money, but for what you're paying is mainly the servos itself or the actuators in terms. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and see what it's all about. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and unbox this thing. So the box itself is kind of cute. Uh, you do see a robot here on the front kind of smiling about. Now, uh, I think we'll go ahead and build a humanoid robot kit, so just keep that in mind. And it does say that it contains the two axis actuators or the Dynamixel 2XLs. Uh, you get a 3D printing curriculum included, so you can go ahead and 3D print your own custom parts, which is always a plus in a robotics kit. And then of course it's Python programming capable, uh, which you can go ahead and have in the curriculum for the engineering kit two. This being the kit one, just keep that in mind. And then of course it has multiple app integrations where you can go ahead and download the different robotics apps and use it, which we'll see kind of in a little bit. <laughs> cool. All right, so first we get a user manual. Uh, so this particular manual will go ahead and showcase exactly how to go ahead and connect it, start it up and stuff of that nature. And then in terms of directions on how to go ahead and build your robot. So this here is Dr. R. It's a fun, friendly robot that can actually like recognize you, see different objects and interact with you as well. So that's kind of cool. And then of course we get our humanoid robot. So this one here is the Max E1. Uh, I think we'll be building this just because I'm a big fan of humanoid robots and especially compared to the bio I'm kind of curious to see exactly how this plays out. Now, lastly, you also have the spy robot, or it's like a hex robot. Uh, essentially, it's like a giant spider, so it's pretty cool, but uh, not something I feel like building right now. But uh, yeah, that is that. And then this here is essentially like a rubric of what we're getting. So we get our six 2XL uh, uh, actuators right over here. Uh, we get ourselves a LiPo battery. Uh, we have our main hub board or the unit itself, and then a variety of different panels and pieces. And yeah, here we go, check this out. All right, uh, so we have ourselves a nifty looking screwdriver. So that's kind of nice that they included that. Uh, we have ourselves a charging adapter and then a cable that goes with it. Uh, and looks like we have ourselves a prying tool so you can go ahead and kind of pop things off if necessary. Uh, and then we have a variety of different cables, uh, clear panels. This here is the head for our robot as well. All right, and then this here is our LiPo battery. Uh, this here is our charger for our LiPo battery. Uh, and then some more housings. Uh, this here is our main board, very small, actually kind of cool. So there's an on off switch right over there. And then yeah, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty nicely compact. Now these here are what you're paying for. These here are the actuators. So these are pretty expensive things. So you gotta be very, very careful with them. Uh, so as you know, you only get six of them, but actually looking at them, they look pretty cool. So comparing it to the original XL 430s, you will actually have to have two of those to equivalent to one because it's two axis. Uh, so this here is actually substantially less in terms of uh, weight and in volume by 14 to 33%. And then yeah, you have that full metal housing, uh, a lot more durability. And then of course, being a dynamic, so it's actually one of the best servos or actuators out there. So it should be quite interesting to see exactly how that kind of plays out. So we'll go ahead and place these to the side as these are very, very valuable. 
right so this kind of tells us exactly what else we have uh, so it has like nice template in terms of explaining what's what so we have a lot more a variety of different panels nuts and bolts and then variations of pieces for our different robots that we might be building uh, and yeah it's actually a lot less than the uh, Byloid, so it should be quite interesting to see how this all plays out uh, so with that being said I think it's time to queue up that montage and build ourselves a robot <laughs> is finally done and overall the appearance of it is quite appealing uh, it was a bit intricate to build I mean especially the little tiny screws in small areas it does require some finesse uh, and actually kind of out following exactly what the rubric says now it does showcase that there is a lot of capability with this particular robot meaning in terms of expanding on it for instance with the headpiece here Although it does look like there might be a camera right here, but we don't actually have anything physically built into place just yet. But I could imagine them attaching a servo here, which you can go ahead and attach to the main board as well. Now the main board does have additional attachments, so you can go ahead and expand on that, which is kind of nice. I do know that in terms of the, uh, the kit too, uh, the robot has different joints in terms of the arms, as well as the legs, so it should be quite interesting to see that in the future. But in addition to that, I have to say the robot itself does look quite nice. I'm kind of curious to see exactly how it moves. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on next. Uh, so on the back here, you have your on-off switch. So you just go ahead and press this button right here. Uh, it'll start blinking, say mode. The servos are currently blinking as well. Once it blinks green, we can go ahead and hit start. And we're all set. So let's go ahead and boot up the app next and try this out. So the app that we're going to be using is called R Plus Engineer. So this here is the main hub, allowing you to select which robot you're currently using. Now this here is a kit one, but if I hit on uh, education, you can see there's a variation of different robots. Uh, and then you have user as well, which you can go ahead and create your own customs. So you're not just limited to exactly what you see. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Max E1. And then from there, we're going to connect to it via Bluetooth. That sound means it's connected. And now I'll go ahead and switch into the uh, gamepad mode. Now, it is interesting to note that this doesn't come with a physical controller the way the uh, premium did. Uh, but I'm sure you can always go ahead and expand on that and attach a Bluetooth module, which it already has, uh, to connect to a separate controller as well. All right, and over here you can actually see a good example between the two different robots. So they're really identical in terms of size goes. Uh, obviously, you know, there is a bit of difference in terms of the servos or the actuators, and then the way it works. The, the new kit is a lot more refined and a lot more condensed. I think they actually made it very simple and it's actually quite easier to build compared to the original Bioloid. All right, so this here's the main hub. So you have three different modes. You have normal mode, fight mode, and soccer mode. Uh, you can go ahead and control the robot by pressing the directional buttons just like this. So this is left, this is right, this is forward, this is back. And then you can go ahead and rotate it one direction or rotate it the other direction. Now if I hit the middle button here that says X1, it'll go ahead and change to X2. Just like that. And then if I hit forward, you'll see it's a lot faster. If I hit back. And then you can go ahead and like pivot as well, just as fast. So it kind of gives you an idea of what that's about. All right, so up next we'll look at the motion. So this here's motion number one for normal mode. So the robot will start doing push-ups. Pretty cool. And I'll get back up. Okay, and we'll go ahead and take a step back. All right, and then this here's gonna be motion number two. <laughs> so the robot does a little headstand. So that's pretty cool. So go ahead and move forward. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and rotate just a little bit. Alright, and then so here's motion number three. So the robot does a little wave. And here's motion number four. Then here's motion number five. Motion number six. Okay, now we have fight mode as well. So this is fight mode. 
So in terms of fight mode, you have different motions. So this is motion number one. So it's like a side attack. And then well, obviously motion number two is gonna be the other way, just like that. Then motion three is gonna be a front attack. Almost like a slice. Same with motion number four. And number five. So like almost like a duck. And motion number six. That's actually pretty cool. Motion number six. So kind of gives you an idea what that is. All right, so next up is the soccer mode. Uh, so just to kind of show you how this works out. So this here's motion number one. So you'll see you just kind of kick it just like that. And here's motion number two. Okay. Okay, and then motion number four is a block, just like that. Uh, motion number five is just gonna be a little walk. Okay. And yeah, then you also have get up as well. So if the robot kind of fell on its face just like this and you hit get up, it'll go ahead and stand up just like that. If it falls on its back and you hit get up again, it'll go ahead and get up just like that. So it does have a sensor knowing which way it's facing. So that's kind of nice as well. Uh, and then you have torque. So if I go ahead and hit torque off, now I can go ahead and move my servos. If I hit torque on, now I can't move them because the torque's on. So you can always go ahead and preserve your battery life as well. So kind of gives you an idea what that is. Now you also have a few different modes. Uh, so we have remote and now we have gesture. So the next mode we'll look at is gonna be our clap mode. So if I click on clap mode, uh, the robot will listen for claps. The way it works is simply like this. One, two, three. <laughs> That's pretty cool. One, two, one, two. <laughs> so it actually mimics you or it listens to your clap and then it'll go ahead and showcase it on the robot. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, other than that, we also have a gesture mode. Uh, gesture mode means you can go ahead and control the robot using your phone just like this. And if I simply go ahead and bring it up just like that, you'll see that I'll go ahead and swipe. If I go ahead and uh, do it again, So I could do that, I'll do like a little clap or like a wave. And yeah, kind of showcases what that's about. So that's actually pretty cool. So the next thing we're gonna look at is our test three. Uh, so this here is a new, new uh, app that they just added, uh, which allows you to go ahead and customize it and create your own device. So if I click on uh, uh, control right here, I can go ahead and find our robot. So we'll go on to Robotics Engineer, uh, and then we'll find our particular robot, which is Max E1, and then hit select. And then from there, uh, this kind of gives us full functionality over the robot in terms of like programming. So that's kind of neat. So I can go on uh, motion examples and if I click on engineer and click on max E1 and I can select it and then uh, select on this one right here. And it'll go ahead and load up the 3D model of the robot. Look at that, that's so cool. So you can go ahead and create your own like skits with it, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then you just go ahead and hit play and you'll see on the robot in real time. So you can go ahead and adjust the height of the camera and stuff of that nature. And you can just go ahead and create your own animations, which is kind of neat. Uh, so you just go ahead and select on a servo just like this. And then you pick an angle. You can pick the number just like this. There you go. So you can go ahead and do a variety of different customizations. So that's kind of neat. So it kind of gives you an idea exactly what that capability is. It's kind of a really unique idea. So it definitely makes it a lot more fun. So you can go ahead and learn about programming and stuff of that nature. All right, well, there you guys have it. This here is the all new Robotics Engineer Kit 1. Definitely a fun robotic kit to build. Uh, it does require some finesse, but other than that, it's actually a quite interesting robot. And I think it does have a lot of capability, which I'm excited to see what it holds in the future. I really like the idea of the dual axis actuators. Definitely gives it a unique terms of stance and the way it walks. It definitely is a lot more different than any other humanoid robot we've seen before. Now, I do see a lot of potential with this particular robotic kit, and uh, hopefully we'll see something quite interesting in the future. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.